Hey guys, FL guy so. Ek is jammer dat ek so lang niks gedoen het nie, maar ek was um, weg, ek was op die plaas, ek het lekker daar so gekeier, ek het my vakantie gehad. Maar nou is ek terug, en ja. So, I'm really sorry for the long break, but now I'm back, and we're gonna look at a really cool thing, a really cool rifle, and that's the Bush Warrior made by DS Arms. It's an 18 inch budget friendly FAL rifle. And I think it's kind of cool. So let's get started. So the cool thing about this rifle is that it costs around 1,500 US dollars, meaning it's a rather budget friendly FAL. It's not as expensive as the other products. Um, I do kind of like it. Um, I did change a few things on this rifle. The first thing is I got a non bipocon handguard, as you can see here. Like, I really do not know why DS Arms sells bipocon handguards. They look so cheap, they look so crappy, and I absolutely hate them. So please, DS Arms, make non bipocon handguards. No one likes a bipocon handguards. Literally the first thing that people change on their FALs. Because the FAL as seen in Rhodesia, South Africa, many Southern uh, or South American um, areas or areas of operation, they have non bipocot handguards. So please, DS Arms, change them. And maybe, it would be really cool, if you would actually sell non bipocot handguards on your website. Anyhow, these toss. So that's the first thing that I changed. The second thing that I did, I put a sling on it. It's a T-Rex Arms sling in multicam. We all love multicam, it's a really cool pattern. Maybe it's overdone, I don't know, but I like it and it looks kind of cool on my rifle. Then the last thing that I wanted to do, and I was really disappointed that it didn't work, was put a Halbeck device on it. So one thing that is annoying about this rifle is that it doesn't take the Halbeck device. It looks like that the muzzle brake is just slightly out of spec and too big to take the Halbeck device. So, yeah. I, I would appreciate it, DS Arms, if you, if you would fix that. Let's have a closer look at the DS Arms Bush Warrior Rifle. As you can see, it is a 18-inch FAL made by DS Arms out of Illinois, and it's one of their budget-friendly rifle, running around $1,500. The stock and the pistol grip are the same as any other fixed stock FAL they sell. However, the rear side is different you don't have anything to slide the rear side on or you don't you cannot flip it up to another position the only thing that allows you to do is adjust the windage you've got two screws one screw on each side if you move on we see that the bolt carrier it has the sand cut grooves on there which is kind of standard however and i think it's a pretty cool thing is that this fal does not come with a carry handle as you've seen from various operational theaters in Africa, such as Angola, South Africa, Namibia, Rhodesia, and whatever, carry handles were usually a hindrance and were cut off. So I really appreciate it. I didn't have to cut off a carry handle in this firearm. If we move on, we see uh, the um, handguard. Again, non bipoc cut. And the front side is the exact same as any other FAL rifle. And the muzzle brake, as we talked previously, is just out of spec. But apart from that, it is a standard muzzle brake, or it looks standard. It looks like a standard one. So the big difference on this side is, uh, first of all, I mounted a Picantini rail on my non bipoca handguard. Um, it's a Macpo Picantini rail, and it allows me to mount a flashlight on it. And I do believe a flashlight is kind of essential on a rifle in 21st century. And then the other big difference is uh, the folding in charging handle. It's an inch pattern charging handle, and I do like it, it folds in, so it's not a knob that sticks out and gets stuck in your equipment. All right, as you can see, this rifle performs well. Um, just a little follow up on the DS Arms 20 round mags. Polymer ones, they seem to hold up their value. These are the new edition that got released last um, October or November. I mean, they did their job, bolt locks to the rear, so I'm really happy with them. They're not as junk as the first one were. So good job, DS Arms. So, 
All in all, I think this is a really neat package. For $1,500, you get a decent rifle. It works well. It ran through different types of ammo. It took all the different mags that are tested in them. Like it even worked with a converted Bren mag, which looks cool, by the way. And um, yeah, so all in all, pretty cool package. There are a few things that I did not really like about them. They're minor things. The first thing was the bipod cut handguard. Like DS Arms, why do you keep selling FALs with a bipod cut handguard? No one likes them. Please manufacture these non bipod cut ones, the more classic ones, you know? Like bipods are a product from the Cold War when you're like two standing armies fighting at each other at like 300 or whatever yards. Nowadays, they just don't do it anymore. So please, non bipod cut handguard. The other thing was the muzzle brake that will not take a halibut device. That was really disappointing. I don't know what happened, but I would appreciate DS Arms if the muzzle brakes would be all in spec and would take the halibut device. Because we're actually working on recreating a halibut device, which should hit the market in a couple of months, hopefully. So yeah, sights are okay. They're great entry sights, they work. I was able to hit targets at the range of over 250 meters, so I can't complain about it. Again, overall, nice package for $1,500. So all in all, well done DS Arms with the Bush Warrior FAL. And here you can see a cool little um, trailer of what we're gonna review next. So I hope you enjoyed this review of the Bush Warrior FAL. And until next time, buy a donkey and lekker dag.